It's a special night for the city, special night for the fans. Um, what are your emotions going into this, the final game at Rexall Place, a place you call home for a long time? Well, it's all coming to a head now. There, you know, there's been planning going on for a number of months within the organization, and uh, so pleased at the, you know, what's happened so far. So pleased at the, of uh, the response by the alumni to come here. They're all really excited. I, I, you know, we the fans have been amazing for us over the years, and I, I. I I know that we're going to have a good program tonight. I think they're going to be really, uh, they're going to enjoy it. They're going to be impressed. And, uh, you know, end of an era for sure, but uh, lots of good things to look forward to. When you see so many representing the Oilers from different decades and different eras, and, and you see them come back with smiles on their faces, it's really a credit to what this organization means to the players as well as the city, is it not? It is, and you got a better sense of that yesterday when the players were arriving. I spent about four or five hours at the hospitality suite, and uh, you know they were again they were so appreciative. Of, you know a lot of them, and I don't want to say, you know, I guess lesser known players in the history of the Oilers, uh, that that they were first of all invited back, and they had you know they we all have similar memories. It's about playing pro hockey in this building, and uh, so that's that that's going to be special, and and uh, you know the. Overall, the group of guys, um, you know, some we're, we're building, we're trying to build our alumni, trying to build a, an organization where collectively we can, you know, talk to people and, and invite them in from time to time. So, so this has been a good opportunity for us to do some networking there with our former players. Player, coach, GM, vice chair, you've done it all for the Oilers. And now reflecting back, what are some of your favorite memories of this building? Well, you know, as a young player, just playing in the NHL, first of all, and this was home and, you know, spent so much time in here walking, you know, underneath the, all the guys that worked for Northlands, the guys that did the ice, you know, they all, they became friends, you know, they'd be guys that you expected to see every day or guys and girls. And uh, so that was, you know, there a lot of memories there, walking in these doors here and, uh, you know, when it was 30 below and glad you're indoors at times. Uh, then, you know, special moments. Uh, for me, 50 and 39 stick, sticks out, Wayne's. Uh, and again, Wayne, when Wayne, that was a good one. When Wayne broke Gordy's record, I guess, is, you know, was even though it was against us, it was special. All the banner raisings I loved. I thought they were so emotional for all the players that had their banners raised. And then, you know, then, of course, the Knights of the Cups starting to look at some of those pictures again and, and going through those. Uh, just, you know, flashbacks of great times.